Hi guys, my name is Ayalski and today I'm going to show you how we can optimize your AMD graphics card using AMD Radeon settings. So first and foremost, you have to install the latest drivers. Link will be down in the description below so you can go ahead and check that. So once you have the latest drivers, you can go ahead and right click on your desktop like I show you in this video. So click on it, AMD Radeon settings. So once you are here, if you have this already installed in your system, you have to click on updates. Once you have click on it, kindly click on check for updates. Usually if it does not have any updates, it will offer you two updates here. The one is recommended and the other one is optional. I would recommend using the recommended driver updates because they are more stable and you will run into less problems using those drivers so once you have updated your drivers you can go ahead and go to the gaming tab so click on it gaming tab then you will see all of your listed games and uh, global settings before we hit global settings you have to remove all dedicated profiles so that your global settings will apply to all of your games so let me go ahead and do that okay so once you have removed all of the profiles kindly click on global settings and here before we do any changes all you need to do is click on reset click on graphic settings and click yes that will reset all of your settings so we can start afresh okay next would be resetting shader cache as well then let's go ahead and do the settings first and foremost for anti-aliasing mode uh, you have to click on application settings so we can turn it off on the game itself anti-aliasing method would be multi-sampling then the filtering should be off the next one would be off as well for filtering quality it should be performance because we're aiming for performance format optimization would be on for vertical refresh you have two options first you can go with always off but i prefer off so i can control it on the application or the game itself so i'll select this one then triple buffering would be on so if you're using opengl i would recommend using triple buffering for opengls the next would be shader cache it should be amd optimized for tessellation mode you have to change it to override application settings then select the maximum tessellation level to off so if you notice uh, for your OpenGL games, uh, if you notice a performance decrease, you can go ahead and turn off the OpenGL triple buffering. It depends on your system actually. There are times that turning this on usually increases your FPS but for me, I prefer having it on always. GPU workload should always be on graphics. Chill should always be off. This reduces your performance in exchange for cooler gpu so if you have adequate cooling for your graphics card turn that off so next would be frame frame rate target control so if you're using a 60 hertz monitor i would recommend limiting this one but usually you don't really want that so it's my personal preference to have it disabled but you can definitely turn it on and limit your frame rate so next we're done with that so next would be going to global whatman uh, at first if you're new to this it will ask you for to accept a certain agreement so you can go ahead and accept that for me the only thing you have to change here is the power limit hit that up to the maximum level and click on apply I do not have fan control because my graphics card is currently using a water cooler so there's no option for me to change the fan settings. So that's it for the graphics settings. Next would be video. It should be custom. 
no doubt about that can go ahead and disable everything so it's up to you to use default settings or custom settings this usually affects video playback but we're aiming for gaming performance here so next would be relieve relive i don't know how to pronounce that correctly but uh, that's it you can install it if you have it installed kindly turn that off but if you're like me who is nitty gritty when installing drivers i did not install Relive relieve because i don't use screen recording uh with the amd radian settings so next would be go to the display settings once you are here you have to select the same settings for all of your monitors regardless of how many monitors you have so in this case i only have one so you have to set your virtual super resolution to off gpu scaling should always be off it only increases your gpu usage so turn that off scaling mode is up to you you can select aspect ratio full panel or center and color depth should be 8 bpc and pixel format should always be full rgb and that's it so again thank you guys for watching my video if you do like my video please do like it and please do subscribe to my channel it helps me a lot if you have any suggestion please do comment on the comment section below again thank you for watching and have a great day gaming